Well, good morning, and it's great to be here with you, and I'm glad that the government is apparently open for our first day of fiscal year 16, and hopefully we will avoid some of that drama in a couple months. But anyway, we're here, and I'm looking forward to this time to be able to chat with you a little bit about the kinds of work that we're doing and how that might marry up with what seems to be a very amazing conference and all the energy and enthusiasm here at Strata Hadoop World. So this is our mission statement. You'll see this on the, on the website. And to the right there, you'll see the lobby that you've probably seen in movies or other things. Maybe some of you have actually entered there. I go through this lobby pretty much every morning when I'm in town. And one of the things that I see up on the wall, amongst other things, is this quote that says, um, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And I've often thought, what does that have to do with me as, a, as an intel officer and a, and a CIO there? And so as I ponder that a little bit more, I think, you know, it maybe has a whole lot to do with us. And this question about how do we provide our analysts the most advanced state-of-the-art analytics and produce intelligence that matters is something that's really at the forefront of our mind pretty much uh, continuously. And so we're starting to ask the question more, not so much um, what difference does it make, but really how big a difference can we make? And I think the difference is actually quite huge. And we're starting to think that we can really do some very innovative things and really make a difference in the mission for the agency and the IC. So I thought I'd just kind of share with you at a high level what I can share about our strategy um, in, in three areas, about platforms, analytics, and intelligence officers, and how do we connect this up with people, and how do we connect this up for our mission. So you may have heard that we have an arrangement with Amazon Web Services, and they have built a region on um, our, our premises on a, on a classified network. And this was a contract that we signed about two years ago. It took them a little over nine months to install the region. And since then, we have been operating. And this has been very exciting for us because we are really starting to realize the benefits of cloud computing. Amazon has lived up to their side of this bargain. They are rolling in features. And our region is very close to commercial parity, which is our objective. And staying up to date and keeping up with what the uh, state of the art in cloud computing really is. Last night, somebody mentioned to me there's only two ways to look at this uh, business. You can either keep trying to do, yourself and do it yourself and struggle and try to keep up, or you can turn it over to people who really know what they're doing and get on a curve that's consistent with commercial parity. And that's really what we've done with uh, Amazon. So you might think about, okay, well, uh, you've, got, you've got Amazon, and, uh, and, and that's interesting, and of course they bring some tools and features, but what are you really gonna do on this cloud? And I think that ends up being the big question, because it's cool to spin up VMs and do uh, some analytics or do some other things. When you look at mission outcome, that's what we really need to be focused on and driving, and that's partly why I was interested in coming here was because I really think the kinds of tools and products and services and the innovation and energy that you are putting into uh, Hadoop and Spark and all of those kinds of engines are really the kind of thing that we need to collectively be taking advantage of for, for our mission and our business, as well as other businesses across, uh, across the country. Uh, one of the ways that we intend to do that is by uh, opening up Amazon Marketplace, a private copy of the Marketplace. And so vendors who have listed publicly in the Marketplace have now the opportunity to list a, in a private copy of that Marketplace. And that makes a huge difference. I can communicate to you as Strata Hadoop World the environment that we are operating our system in. And I can promise you that if you're able to do amazing things on AWS publicly, publicly excuse me, with your, with your tools, that we will be able to accommodate and figure out how to do some of those kinds of things in our environment as well. So some of the you know, exciting products, I've heard there's uh, new streaming analytics with Kudu or other kinds of things that you're hearing about here. Those are the kinds of things that we would like to be able to bring into our environment and bring in quickly and make it uh, applied in a way that uh, really makes a difference and matters. We're also pretty enthusiastic about the Spark and the, uh, and the Spark environment, the Spark streaming, the machine learning, and all of the user interfaces that are associated with Spark. And there's a tremendous amount of, of opportunity there, and I'm excited about the innovation that's going on in that space as well. So our theme is really enabling uh, these tools to transition as quickly and rapidly as possible and putting the power in the hands of the analysts and the operators to go make a difference uh, for mission. 
So ultimately, uh, we need to connect this up to our workforce. And, um, you know, right now it's still pretty difficult, in my view, to understand exactly what's all going on in some of these computer science worlds. Not very many people in our building would know what Hadoop is. If we took a survey, they might, they might say it's an elephant, I'm not sure. But um, ultimately, we need to be able to really connect this up with the, the people who are producing the products and the intelligence estimates that matter. So we have started, we've had a small group of people that were very passionate about data science. Um, they have done a terrific job in being persistent and in driving our culture to recognize the value of data science. I think we've been behind a little bit in this area, but we definitely recognize that now. And so we are ramping up and we are starting to bring in a number of, of data scientists and going through the culture changes that uh, are difficult, but where people can recognize it makes a big difference. And you know, the experiment, experimentation is messy and, and we're, exper we're experiencing that. Uh, people don't wanna share data. People um, don't see the value until there's the big aha moments that come out. Um, partnering for expertise is not something that we've traditionally done, but we're trying to do that across the agency and across the intelligence community a whole lot more. And then we're also trying to think, um, how do we really look ahead and get ahead of um, where we know things are going in this whole data world? So a lot of opportunity here and a lot of room for growth, and this is where I think we can really start to make a big difference. Now, I did have a chance to spend a little time talking to some of the data scientists in preparation for coming here and kind of ask them what their experience has been and uh, get a little bit of feedback on what it's like working in our organization. Um, there was uh, three things that they really mentioned to me um, that, that kind of stuck in my mind. One is they really enjoyed the opportunity to work with the diversity of data that we have. And when you think about it, I think our data diversity challenge is maybe as great as almost anywhere in the world. I'm not sure that we have the volumes or some of the other challenges, but diversity-wise, um, if you're a data scientist in our organization, you have the opportunity to work with a huge number of inputs and sources and other kinds of things. Uh, secondly, they were very enthusiastic about the output that they could achieve, and it was uh, very exciting to them to be able to do data science, to look at different sources of data, and to really say, because we have done this, and we have done this in managing and, and uh, analyzing this data, uh, we're now able to provide products that are different and make a difference in terms of how people are viewing the world and understanding what's going on. So there was a real uh, clear tie to mission, and they were very enthusiastic about that. The other thing that they said was that we really need to figure out better how to connect this data science world and what we're doing with data to our much more typical analysts and drive those analysts to be able to bring data and data sources together across all of the different data generators. And this is one of the biggest challenges that I, I think I'm seeing. It may not be the exciting computer science challenge, but making a lot of these tools easy and accessible for people who don't understand Hadoop or other kinds of um, analytics, but very much understand the world and are very good and very smart Intel analysts, making those tools accessible is something that I think we need to put a lot of emphasis on. And by doing that, I think we will dramatically grow the impact of, of data science and data analytics. So, and then finally, um, Mission has come to us for a whole bunch of different things, and I just wanted to say a couple words about how we're thinking about this in the, in the big data world. Um, our, our approach is really starting with the question that we're trying to answer. We're not necessarily trying to bring in all of the data that we could ever get our hands on, um, but, and we have certain rules and restrictions and other things that are very appropriate that we have to follow and we do follow and we spend a lot of time worrying about that. But our approach is to really focus on what is the question that we're trying to answer and what type of data, if we had that type of data, would make a big difference and what type of data together would make a big difference. And so new solutions to key intelligence questions, uh, what else should we be considering and connecting to solve this problem? These are the kinds of things that we're, um, we're very excited about. Characterizing data, um, looking at it in very different ways and optimizing the processes are things that we're, we're making a lot of progress on and I think it's gonna pay a lot of dividends as we look to the future and we look at where we're going um, with this whole area. Now finally, I talked about data science and I won't go into this chart a lot, but this is kind of my shameless plug here in, in wrapping up to say um, we're hiring, 
Um, this is a big business area for us. It's, um, it's an area that we hope to work with you. Um, it, whether you become an employee or you're in a corporation, you have products, you have ways to list in marketplace, uh, other kinds of opportunities. Um, I think this is a huge growth area, and I hope that we can connect the innovation and energy and the excitement that you see at conferences like this to the real mission of the agency and the intelligence community. So thank you very much.